Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. Luckily you cannot see that giant mess behind me because I'm currently packing because I'm going back to Ireland. It's just for another like 10 days, so it's not such a big deal. I can go for 22 euros to Ireland and back. And I thought it was a really good deal. I still have my apartment till the end of the semester. And so I decided to go back for another one and a half weeks. I wouldn't have necessarily had to go back. So this is more like something that I do for fun, kind of like a holiday. But I also want to work for my bachelor's thesis when I'm there. So yeah, it's actually kind of a combination of free time and just doing something for university. Points I didn't necessarily would have had to go back, but I wanted to. So I'm going back today. The problem is there is this massive strike at German airports today. I don't know, I think like, if I remember that correctly, it's like 130 of 166 flights at the airport that I want to go um, are already cancelled. Luckily I'm gonna go in the evening, so maybe until then they'll have everything figured out again. So far my airline says that it's going as scheduled. I don't know, this is gonna be so stressful. Why today? Why that exact day that I wanted to fly someone who has no clue how all of this works. This is just my third flight. I... <sighs> Such a lucky little bean. This is gonna be a journey. This is gonna be an adventure. So this is gonna be an exciting vlog, I guess. I got so much stuff that I need to take with me. Like my suitcase is probably gonna be pretty full, which it shouldn't be because I'm gonna explain that later on. Then I got this little bag with me that I'm gonna take on the plane. The thing is that Last time I had two suitcases with me because I was staying three and a half months so obviously I had a lot to carry with me but like with regard to clothes for example which take up a lot of space in here I obviously didn't take clothes for three and a half months but only for like a week or two and then wash them obviously makes sense right but that also means that I'm gonna need as much clothes now as I needed back then but right now I only have one suitcase and back then I had two I need to get all that stuff in here and I also need to leave some space because I got a couple of things in Ireland that I'll need to take home with me. I really try to only take with me what is necessary and I may need to do my laundry over there because I really I really took such a small amount of clothes with me and still this thing is so full. I'm really not made for the jet set life. <laughs> I just I should just stay home. Oh and also I gotta take those shoes with me I just realized that. Uh, yeah there we go. <laughs> As you can see, I managed to fit everything in there and there is still a little bit of space left so I think I will be able to get all the stuff that I still got in Ireland back home as well. That bag over here is a little bit heavy but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. You can't have it all and I'm just lucky that I managed to get everything in there and still have some space left. Now I only need to somehow even get to Ireland. So I just arrived at the airport and I stressed myself so much but apparently everything's going as planned so I hope it will stay that way and I don't know if that's normal but there are so little people here probably because a lot of flights were cancelled I guess, I don't know and now I got a long time to wait because I came here so early in case I had to like, I don't know, organize whatever in case my flight wasn't going or I don't know so I came here really early and now I get so much time <laughs> It's 4 in the afternoon and my flight is gonna go at 7.30, so a little bit too early, maybe. You guys, I'm back, back at my second home. <laughs> that won't be my second home as soon as I leave. such a weird feeling right now. I didn't expect that. I was only gone for like three weeks and I, I don't even know how to explain it. At first it was literally just happiness like oh my god I'm back at this place but now it's kind of mixing with nothing is like it was before. Like for example I went into the kitchen and I shared a cupboard with the girl that I was closest to in my apartment 
and that I hung out with a lot and her stuff was gone because she's not coming back and that was so weird and that was so sad and I think that's the point everything is the same and just tiny things are different and that's why it's kind of a weird feeling but like superficially everything seems to be the same it's the same apartment, it's the same room, it's the same town but I don't know it's weird. It was kind of a rough day, but I'm glad because everything, in the end, everything worked out perfectly well. My flight went off almost on time. I think it was like a couple of minutes late. Like the train situation, because I had to take two trains. None of the trains was delayed. That was great. And then I could also take the bus to the university. And last time we came here, it was kind of complicated and it didn't come for like two hours. And it was all kind of complicated and messy and um, I was afraid of that but that worked out fine as well so I'm really really happy but it was still an exhausting day I think I've been on my way for let me give me a second half past one that was when I left home half past two half past three half past four half past five half past six half past seven half past eight half past nine and then another half an hour so it's been eight and a half hours oh and then another hour that i was in the bus um so nine and a half hours this took me nine and a half hours it took me nine and a half hours to get here so you might be able to tell that i'm a little bit exhausted no wait it's been ten and a half hours because in germany it's already one hour later than here so it's been ten and a half hours and honestly i know this is gonna sound silly to most of you probably um, but I'm proud of myself. I'm proud that I managed to do that on my own and I mean last time I already flew here by plane obviously But last time my family brought me to the airport and then I had a friend from university That I was on the plane with and that I went here with so I was never alone and even though that was already kind of a big deal because it was my first time flying this time I did pretty much everything alone. I went by train to the airport I was at the airport alone and it was just my third time flying now and then I also had to find the bus because as I said it was a little bit complicated last time and I did all of that alone and to me that is kind of a big deal because I'm always afraid of big trips I've never been a person I never really traveled in my life not that much it wasn't so much of a deal in my family to like go to places every summer or something like that it was more like small travelings so other people may be so used to going to airports and flying that they're like what the hell this is not a big deal but to me it is it really is I, I, I can't handle situations that I'm not used to and at the end of the day I'm not used to going by plane and again this may sound silly to you but to me this is a really big achievement that I managed to come here completely on my own from home to Ireland completely on my own and to me that is a big deal and honestly right now this is giving me such a confidence boost I know it's gonna be over at one point but right now it gave me such a confident boost and I'm really happy about it also that was the ventilation in my bathroom I'm sorry that was probably really annoying but anyways I already unpacked it's now 20 past 11 Irish time so 20 past 12 in the time that I'm used to so I'm a little bit tired. I think I will go to bed. Um, one of my friends is already here. Another one of my friends is here as well, I think. And then tomorrow another friend is gonna come. So I hope that is kind of gonna distract me from having the feeling that things are different here. But right now I'm just really happy. I'm back. I'm back, you guys. I'm back. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end this vlog at this point. Thank you so much for coming along. It was a great day. Things worked out so well. I am exhausted, but it was still a great day. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And I hope I'm going to see you in my next vlog. Goodbye.